hello everyone i hope you're all doing good today's video is for those who are trying to start their uh, data science career and uh, as you know that for data analysis and for data science projects kaggle is one of the famous web application we have available so by using this application you can you know do some analysis it is very powerful it will give you online resources and the good thing is that it can save your project so you you can work or you can restart working on your projects uh, whenever you want so this is one of the biggest advantage of uh, using kaggle and uh, the other advantage is that you have thousands of data set you can work on so this is very effective for those who want to explore and who want to you know do some analysis on the on different data sets and even you can upload your own data set so today i will give you the uh, tutorial that how you can work on existing data sets so i will just choose this data set here that is covid 19 coronavirus pandemic so this data set is uploaded here and you can see 11 people has worked they have worked on this project and you can see their notebooks this is uh, different types of uh, analysis they have done and if i go to data card here you can see this is the information about the data and you can even download this data from this option here okay so this is very interesting and this is very useful way to share the data sets and people can you know collaborate with each other so I will just click on I want to work on this data set as well so what I will do uh, I will click on new notebook here and it will open a new tab here I will name it as uh, uh, COVID-19 data analysis and uh, Okay, so the title COVID-19 data analysis already exists. So uh, I will just write it COVID data analysis. Okay, it's, oh, so it's fine now. And once we uh, create this new tab here, create this new notebook here, you can see uh, the data set is already there as an input. And you can see this is the file and you can access this file here. This is the pre preview of the file. And you can see uh, Kaggle will automatically import some important libraries. So import uh, NumPy as NP. This is for linear algebra. And for uh, data processing, we have uh, CSV file here. Uh, so definitely we will be needing Pandas library that will be specifically working on uh, CSV files. And then we the Kaggle has already uh, loaded or linked the data set with this new notebook so at what I will do here I will just run this statement run this uh, line of code and uh, once I will get any output here it means that our data set is properly linked with the new notebook so just wait for the instruction and you can see these online resources are being used so you can see CPU RAM and ram is maximum 30 gb that is massive and disk and we have session so disk space is also also available here so now this is live so you can see the green means that we, this is running i will create a new uh, code here so i want to explore this data set so what i will do with data uh, is equal to i will use pandas library read underscore csv and here i want to give the path of this file so copy this path and paste it here so run this file okay so pandas is not defined pd so import pandas as pd this is uh, Okay, so this is already imported, but let's import this again. Import pandas as pd. 
run this okay and now let's rerun this and now it is not giving me any error it means that our panda pandas library is fine so now i will explore some uh, values in this data set so i will write data dot head and i want to print first 10 values in this so you can see in this data set we have uh, these columns country other names population total cases total deaths and all these data uh, values are available here but you can see uh, the head will be giving you the first uh, whatever the first uh, values number of values we need so for example if I write 5 here so if it will give me 5 values right now I want to see what this data is about so data dot uh, describe function let's see what this data is about so these are the total values and mean value this is very good for data analysis 25% values 75% and this is the max values okay in each column so this is very effective and I want to see how many rows and how many columns are there so for that we have another function that is data dot shape function and let's run this okay so data dot shape is a tuple okay so let's remove these okay so we have um, 225 by 10 so this is the uh, shape of this uh, data set and you can see if I, I want to see the last values so that will be data dot uh, uh, tail so this function will give me last five values I think so you can see this is giving me last five values so if i want last 10 values so you have to type according to that so you can see this is uh, pretty much simple and you can you know save this and whenever you want to resume the work you can just resume it from the point you have left so for example i want to uh, plot some graphs so for example data dot um, box plot let's see if this one is working for this okay so you can see uh, this is a box plot for this data set and you can uh, explore this one uh, similarly we can create histogram data dot histogram and you no know, this will be only hist i think yeah, so you can see this is creating the histogram of the data set so this one is very effective uh, like this is very effective method so once you complete this analysis this is just the example go to this save version option save this is uh, you can write the version 1 this is uh, v1 save and you can go to advanced settings and click on save so this is saving now you can resume working on this project anytime you want and if you want to share this what you have to do you have to click on public and here you need to verify your mobile number so that then it will be public and it will be easily available for anyone then you just need to go to the uh, link of this and copy the link and share with any anyone you want to uh, share so you can also share with any uh, you know online user or any user who is uh, registered with this uh, kaggle so this is very effective and uh, this makes data analysis very easy and i hope uh, this video video will be helpful for you so if this is helpful please uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can see uh, similar videos uh, like this in future thank you so much and have a good day